When I signed up for my first high yield savings account, I honestly did not know what to expect. But over the years, I've learned three important lessons that I'm going to be sharing with you here today that I don't see a lot of people talking about. So after this, you're going to be better prepared when you sign up for your high yield savings account than I was five years ago. Let's start with number one, and that has to do with taxes. Chances are, if you have a high yield savings account, you are going to be getting a 1099 INT that will show how much interest income you earned. Now, I wasn't used to this because at my old bank with my old savings account, I wasn't earning that much interest. I think we were earning 0.01% or 0.05%. And that brick and mortar bank that I had that savings account never earned enough interest for them to have to send me a 1099 INT. Because if you do get $10 or more in interest on that savings account, then you're going to be getting a 1099 INT. And that's why I never got that in the previous bank at the previous savings account. And when we did transition over over to the high yield savings account, that's when we started to see those 1099 INT forms every year. But listen, interest earned in your high yield savings account is still a good thing the way I see it because that's money that I would have otherwise not been able to earn if I didn't have a high yield savings account. Taxes are a part of life, especially when you're trying to build wealth. And unfortunately, your high yield savings account is not exempt from it. So be prepared as you're seeing that interest, as you're seeing that account earn money to put some aside for taxes just in case you may owe when you file your yearly taxes. The second lesson that I've learned is that you just don't have to sign up for one savings account. If you're seeing offers from different savings accounts, banks, companies, you can sign up for multiple ones and take advantage of those perks. And at the same time, you'll be able to try the different companies to see which you like. And that way, you just don't have to get tied into one savings account. This is a strategy that I'm seeing more and more people start to use, especially if they can get a $250 signing bonus from this bank and a $100 signing bonus at another bank. Why not? Just make sure that you are paying attention to the requirements you have to meet to get those bonus payments and to get those perks. Number three, don't expect that interest, that yield that you're earning on your high yield savings account to stay the same. The interest rate that you see today being advertised is not going to be the same a year from now or even a few months from now. So that's why I choose not to spend the money in my HYSA like it's normal, consistent income. The four to 5% APY that you may see today will eventually come down. It's going to come down eventually. So don't put yourself in a financial obligation based on the interest that your high yield savings account is earning, or you could be in financial trouble later. And if you are in a position right now where you're trying to get out of financial trouble, or if you are trying to get to financial independence, something that I talk about on this channel, well, check out the video on the screen and learn about the seven pillars of financial independence. And I'll see you over there. Peace.